Welcome, YouTubers, to another episode in my Grammar Hero series. In today's video, I'm going to discuss four methods you can use to solve any quadratic equation you may encounter on the Mathematics Knowledge subtest of the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, that is the ASVAB. As you can see, I listed those four methods right here, and they include factoring, foiling, the PETA method, and the quadratic formula. Uh, before I show you how to work out this example, I want to stress this. Uh, since the ASVAB is a time test, you always want to use the most efficient way uh, to solve a problem. Uh, in this case, factoring is going to be the most efficient way to solve a quadratic equation. After that, foiling, uh, that is taking your answer choices and expanding them, is the second most efficient way to solving quadratic equations. And then finally, uh, either using the PETA method or the quadratic formula are effective but time-consuming ways to solve quadratic equations. Um, similarly, I also want to mention that in the description of this video, I included links to videos in which I discuss each of these topics in greater detail. So if at any point during today's video you get confused, uh, please check out those resources for additional help. So all that being said, let's go ahead and use these four methods to factor this equation right here, notably 2x squared plus x minus 6. All right, so let's uh, solve this one first by factoring. Uh, before we do that, though, I quickly want to point out uh, that you have to be able to identify the parts of a quadratic equation in order to use pretty much any of these methods. A quadratic equation is usually of this form, ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started with uh, factoring this. And I'm going to make a little chart to keep our work organized. And let's go ahead and copy down this equation. We have 2x squared plus x minus 6. Okay, so uh, as we can see, we have a quadratic equation since it's of this form. Uh, for A, we have 2. For B, we have an imaginary 1 or just 1. And for C, we have negative 6. Uh, since there isn't a uh, one here or nothing in front of this x squared, we know we're trying to factor a quadratic equation in which the leading coefficient is something other than one. And in light of that, we have to use a special method to factor this equation, uh, notably the AC or Australian method. And that method says, uh, take a and multiply it by c. So let's go ahead and do that. And off to the side, I'm going to write ac. Uh, a is 2, whereas c is negative 6. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. Identify your b. Again, there's an imaginary 1 here in front of this x. So we know our b is just 1. And we're looking for two factors that multiply uh, to negative 12 but some are add to positive one. So let's go ahead and think about what those two factors could be. Uh, four and negative three, how about those two? Four times negative three is in fact negative 12. Four minus three is one. Uh, so we've identified two factors that meet those requirements. According to the Australian or AC method, the next step is to take four and negative three and write them in place of this x. And you want to do so such that factoring by grouping is going to be very easy. So I'm going to group this 4 with this 2x squared and this negative 3 with this negative 6. So let's go ahead and rewrite this so we can factor by grouping. We have 2x squared plus, and this 4x came from here. And then I'm going to throw in the negative 3 now, negative 3x, which I got from here as well, minus 6. As you can see, I replaced this x with plus 4x minus 3x, which I got from over here. Now we're just going to factor by grouping, which means we're going to imagine that these, uh, 
that this equation is split in half such that the first half is 2x squared plus 4x and the other half of the equation is uh, negative 3x minus 6. From this first half of the equation, I'm going to factor out a 2x, which will leave me with x plus 2. And now when I factor the second half of the equation, I want to factor it such that I get x plus 2 in parentheses again. So if I factor out a negative 3, that will leave me with uh, x plus 2 in parentheses. Uh, now I just combine these two as one uh, pair, notably 2x minus 3. And I bring down one of the pairs that's repeated, x plus 2. And that is our solution uh, to this quadratic equation, uh, notably 2x minus 3 and x plus 2, which we can see is, in fact, a. All right, so now that we've factored this quadratic equation, let's go ahead and pretend uh, we've totally forgot how to factor quadratic equations in which the leading coefficient isn't 1. Uh, that's completely OK. I think when I took the ASVAB, I saw a quadratic equation that I couldn't factor. But that said, uh, at the time, I was mindful of these other methods. And uh, as you'll see, uh, you can use any of them to factor uh, quadratic equations with which you're unfamiliar. So uh, let's go ahead and discuss the FOIL method. That's F-O-I-L. And FOIL refers to how you expand a pair of binomials. Uh, X plus 2 times 2x minus 3 is a pair of binomials. To expand this, you would multiply the first terms together. That's f and FOIL. Then you would multiply the outside terms together, o and FOIL, the inside two terms together, and then the last two terms together. So let's go ahead and do that and see what it looks like in practice. Again, uh, we already know the answer is x plus 2, uh, 2x minus 3. If you didn't know what the answer was, uh, you would have to expand all of these via the FOIL method until you got the one that matched your original equation. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Again, according to the FOIL method, we multiply the first two terms together. So that's going to be uh, x times 2x. Again, that's the first term in this equation and the first term in this equation. So x times 2x is 2x squared. Then you multiply the outside two terms together. Uh, so uh, x, again, is the most outside term in this first equation. And negative 3 is the most outside term in that equation. So this becomes minus 3x. Then you multiply the pair of inside terms. And as we can see, 2 and 2x are the most inside terms. So we're going to do 2 times 2x, which is just positive 4x. And then finally, we're going to uh, multiply the last set of terms together, which we can see are 2 and negative 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Let's go ahead and simplify this. So we have 2x squared uh, minus 3x plus 4x is just positive x. And then minus 6, we can't simplify. As we can see, by expanding answer choice A via the FOIL method, we get this original equation. And since they do match, we know that this pair of binomials is the correct answer uh, when you factor this quadratic equation, OK? All right, now that we've used the FOIL method, let's go ahead and take a look at the PETA method. Let's go ahead and expand this out a little bit. And PETA, in case you haven't seen the video I uploaded recently, stands for plug in the answers. So you basically take your answers and plug them back into the original equation. Once you get a true mathematical statement, uh, you know that that pair of answers is correct. 
So let's go ahead and start with answer choice A. Again, answer choice A was x plus 2, 2x minus 3. So we have x plus 2, uh, 2x minus 3. Again, this is answer choice A. In the event answer choice A was not correct, you would have to do the same procedure I'm about to show you uh, for answer choice B, C, and D until you found one that made a true mathematical statement. Okay, so in order to use the PETA method in this case, we have to break these apart and set them both equal to zero. So this is x plus 2 equals 0, 2x minus 3 equals 0, because we have to know what x equals in order to plug it into the original equation. So to get x by itself in this equation, I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. This will be x equals negative 2. In order to solve for x in this equation, I'm going to add 3 to both sides. This crosses out here, leaving me with 2x equals 3. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 2. This crosses out, leaving you with x equals 3 over 2. Now that we know what x equals, we can go ahead and plug that into our original equation to see if it makes a true mathematical statement. And we're going to do it one by one. So our original equation was 2x squared plus x minus 6. And we have to set that equal to zero. In other words, if after plugging x in, uh, we have zero equals zero, we'll know we'll, we have the correct answer. So let's start by plugging in uh, negative two in place of x. So x equals negative two. Everywhere I see x, I'm going to plug in a negative two. So this becomes two times negative two squared plus negative two minus 6 equals 0. Uh, let's work out this square. This becomes 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Again, plus minus is just minus, so this is minus 2. Minus 6 equals 0. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 2 minus 6 equals 0. 8 minus 2 minus 6 is also 8 equals 0. 8 minus 8 is 0, 0 equals 0, uh, is a true mathematical statement. Therefore, we know x minus 2, and likewise, x plus 2 is a solution to the quadratic equation we were asked to factor. Let's go ahead and see if x equaling 3 over 2 will work as well. So again, x equals 3 over 2. We're going to plug that into the original equation, which is 2x squared plus x, not plus 6, plus x minus 6 equals 0. Again, in place of x, I'm going to plug in 3 over 2. So this becomes 2 times 3 over 2 squared plus 3 over 2 minus 6 equals 0. Well, let's go ahead and work out the square. So this becomes 2 times. Uh, this square applies to both the 3 and 2 separately. So you can regard this as 3 squared over 2 squared. Uh, 3 squared is 9. Uh, 2 squared is 4. So 3 over 2 squared is the same as 9 over 4. Plus 3 over 2 minus 6 equals 0. Let's go ahead and reduce this before we move on. Uh, I know I can write this as 2 over 1. And uh, we can see that 2 and 4 have a common factor of 2. 2 goes into 2 one time. 2 goes into 4 two times. So this is the same as 9 over 2 plus 3 over 2 minus 6 equals 0. Let's work out these fractions. Uh, Again, since the denominators are the same, we can just add the numerators. So this is the same as 9 plus 3, which is 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 over 2 minus 6 equals 0. 12 over 2 or 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 minus 6 equals 0. 6 minus 6 is 0. So we have 0 equals 0. 
which again is another true mathematical statement. Therefore, we know x equaling 3 over 2 and likewise 2x minus 3 uh, are solutions to the equation we were asked to factor. Okay, so um, that's the PETA method. It can be very tedious to use if you have to use it uh, to check more than one just more than just one answer choice. All right, so finally, let's look at using the quadratic formula to factor uh, 2x squared plus x minus 6. Personally, if I can't factor something and I can't foil uh, my answer choices, I move on and use the quadratic formula. Again, the quadratic formula, once you learn it, will work uh, in solving any quadratic equation you'll see. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, I'm going to go ahead and label our chart here accordingly. Quadratic formula. And in case you forgot what that was, it's uh, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And you may already know where we get a, b, and c from. Again, we're dealing with a quadratic equation. So we know it's going to be of this form, ax squared plus bx plus c. In this case, our equation is 2x squared plus x minus 6. So 2x squared plus uh, x minus 6. Again, we can see 2 corresponds with a. Imaginary 1 corresponds with b. And negative 6 corresponds with c. So all we have to do is plug that into this formula and solve accordingly. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, uh, we know b is an imaginary 1, and I can write it in for you if you want. So this becomes negative 1 plus or minus uh, 1 squared minus 4. a is positive 2, so let's plug in 2 there. And c is negative 6, so let's plug in negative 6 there. Uh, all over 2a. Again, uh, a is 2, so this is 2 times 2. Let's go ahead and keep working this out. We have negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared is just 1. Uh, negative 4 times 2 is uh, negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 6 is positive 48. And 2 times 2 is 4. Um, let's keep working this out. This is negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 40, 1 plus 48 is 49 over 4. A square root of 49, of course, is 7. So this is negative 1 plus or minus uh, 7 over 4. And once you reach this point, uh, this plus or minus tells you to break this into two parts. We have negative 1 plus 7 over 4. And then now we need to break it down to include the negative separately. So this becomes negative 1 minus 7 over 4. Uh, negative 1 plus 7 is 6. So this becomes 6 over 4. We can reduce this accordingly. Uh, so this becomes uh, divisible by a factor of common factor of 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we know one of our factors is 3 over 2. Uh, let's go ahead and find the other one using uh, the second equation we created. Negative 1 minus 7 is negative 8 over 4. Negative divided by positive is going to be negative. So this is x equals 8 divided by 4 is 2. So this is x equals negative 2. Now we would go back and look at our answer choices for one that results in uh, 3 over 2 and negative 2. And let's go ahead and look at them. Uh, we can see that this would be x equals negative 2. 
and this would be x equals 3 over 2. So we know that one is the correct answer, uh, and we found it using the quadratic formula. All right, so uh, that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Again, just to recap, I showed you how to use these four methods, notably factoring, foiling, the PETA method, and even the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. Uh, you're more than welcome to leave feedback in the comment section below. In addition, if you like the content I'm creating, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, but on that note, I'm going to go ahead and cut you loose. Konnichiwa.